Jamir Khan Snuggy coming at y'all one more time once again. It's almost the New Year, Jax. Jax, what New Year's resolutions you got? Okay, let me know. Okay, your girl said you looking thick. Okay, baby boy, you looking a little bit thick, thick, thicky. Okay, so what you gonna do? Get thicker this New Year, Jax? Okay, I hear you. We on this worst list now. Top ten worst. As some would say the, the some would say the, the the fart boxes of the year. Now I got three dishonorable mentions first dishonorable mention sex tuplets next dumbo and last hellboy they weren't good but they weren't bad enough to make the cut for the list so i guess that's a good thing for them yeah but still not that good but anyway let's get this rolling Jax. number 10 all right, with, with my number 10, I wasn't expecting too much from this one. I mean, I was pretty disappointed uh, with this one. There was only like a couple decent funny moments, but uh, without Will Smith, you, you can't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mission, uh, why do I keep wanting to say Mission Impossible? Men in Black International. I, I, I mean, Thor did what he could. My man, uh, Liam Neeson did what he could. You know, my girl, Miss, Miss Ragnarok, she, did what she could. I don't know. Just overall, the movie just wasn't. I just. Uh, anyway, that's that's my number ten. Mm. Number nine. All right, number nine. Listen, I can appreciate Stephen King. I love me some Stephen King. Okay, some some of my favorite horror films in history is 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 based on Stephen King novel. You know, but man, this one uh, in the tall grass. I just. I don't know. It was just a waste. I don't know, it, the premise seemed good enough. I mean, some killer grass, I mean, reminds me of the happening a little bit, but I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just, it didn't, it just didn't work for me. It just didn't work for me. But yeah, that's all I gotta say, it just didn't work for me. Yeah. Number eight. For this next one, you know, I'm all down for um, machines and uh, mechanical intelligence, whatever you want to say. But Amy or uh, AMI, however it's called or whatever, it, 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 I mean, premise was okay, I guess, but just, I don't know, it just... I don't know, a, a, a phone that turns into a killer mom, I just, I don't know, it just seemed dumb, but, I mean, it was dumb, just... Literally, that's it. Just an Android phone that's your mom that kills. A number seven. All right, you know, uh, for my number seven, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoyed the first one. Uh, I, I enjoyed the, f the first Gallows. The Gallows, I enjoyed the first one. If y'all didn't even know that a second one came out, it's okay. I didn't even know a second one came out until I stumbled on it. And I was like, oh snap, the Gallows is back? What, what, what? Gallows Act 2, what? <sighs> Like there was maybe only two good little scares in the whole film, like two. Just, yeah, like literally just two. Out of an hour and a half, you only got two good scares. Come on, yo, yo. The first one was just way better. You could tell this one was like a straight to DVD type of, I don't know, type of thing, which I think that is what happened. I think it just went straight to DVD, but I, I guess that makes sense. Just, any, either way, the Gallows Act 2, just really stupid. But yeah, just, uh, uh, just ugh. Number six. Now, you know, I can appreciate a shark film, you know, just as much as the next person, you know, Jaws. I was about to say uh, 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 the gallows, but no, uh, the shallows, uh, the Meg, you know, uh, uh, 47 meters down I was good. So when they said Uncaged was coming, I said, okay, hold up, hold up, Uncaged, okay. Nah, man, nah, that, that, man, that's, that right there, man. Nah, fam, I said, nah, man, the sharks look like Play-Doh. Oh, man, just, just. Just stupid, just stupid decisions all kinds of ways, and it was just really <laughs> dumb. It was just really dumb. That movie just pissed, that movie pissed me off now that I think about it. But anyway, next. Jax, we at five. All right, we at number five. We at number five now. Like I said in my last one, this is when stuff gets serious. This is when stuff gets serious, okay? <sighs> I loved, I loved Nightcrawler. So when I found out that the director of Nightcrawler teaming up with my boy, Mr. Source Code, AKA Jake Gyllenhaal for a whore, I said, hold up, let's see what we got. Trailer looked decent enough. I was very intrigued. I said, okay, Velvet Bazaar. Okay, what, what was that? What's that? I said, Jax, I said, Velvet 
bizarre, okay? I d- Piss me off, yo, I said, I, 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 yo, I'm easily entertained, okay? Me and Jax are easily entertained. And you can't entertain me? Are you not entertained? I wasn't entertained. I couldn't, I couldn't, I could I don't give I I don't give a damn about no, about some monkeys reaching through a little portrait. Man, tell them, t- t- man, yo, go eat a banana, go read a book, something. Man, Velvet Bazaar. It's just I I, that movie angered me because just nothing, it was stupid, nothing happened, I was bored, it was just, and the trailer sold it too, I was like, oh snap, Nightcrawler, you missed your mark on this one, boy, I said, what a nut is this, okay, next, number four. Now, speaking of trailers that actually make a flick look good, man, the trailer for this, for this number four, I was like, okay, okay, my man, my man from the following, do it, do it, man, Jacob's Ladder, man. My boy Michael Ely, Michael Eli, Ely, uh, my boy Michael Ely, okay, man, the trailer, when I saw him in this trailer, I said, oh, snap, we got another whore looking good, okay, no. Stupid, 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 stupid. St- that's literally all I can say. Stupid, it's just stupid. Uh, waste, just a waste, a waste of space, a waste of sperm, just waste of everything. That whole flick was just a waste of production, okay? Just a waste. Number three. All right, for my number three, yo. Uh, number three. The next three films is what you call under the radar. So if you had never heard of these next three films, I wouldn't blame you because they were really like under the radar. So, but number three, man, the girl on the third floor, the way this movie was selling itself, I thought it was going to be some paranormal haunting house, Amityville horror type of thing. And then when the whole twist goes down and you actually see what's actually going on in the film, it was... it was so dumb because I was like, bro, this ain't Iron Man 3. Don't sell me in one way and then flip it the next. I mean, what is what are you doing, man? Girl on the third floor was such garbage, garbage, garbage. It was just, yeah, we got to get fancy on them, Jax. You know, garbage. It was just disgustingly. What are you doing? What are you doing? You better not tip over my stormtrooper either. What did you do? Stop sniffing him. Lay down, Jax. Number two. For my number two, I, I definitely wasn't expecting too much from this one, but I was expecting to be entertained, okay? No, not really. Acting pretty, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. I'm talking like, <gasps> what are we gonna do? What should we do? I'm like, bro, man, it's not that big a deal. Just, 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 just take it. Just take the killing. Just, just take it, okay? Flight 666. Uh, just, what the piss is this, okay? Just, just, just nonsense, man. A, a, a plane that's haunted, I guess. What is this, the Langoliers? What are you, what are you trying to do? I don't understand. Flight 666 was just disgustingly stupid. Stupid, okay? Acting was horrible. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm talking being extra and just uh, oh my gosh. And 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 the, the, the scares in the flick were just so bad. They're like really, really bad. I say, I say, I say, I say number one. Alright, for this for this next one, uh my, this number one, my number one, this Jax, this is my number one, okay? I just, yo, I don't understand what the issue is, but the trailer for this one, oh man, just, uh, even the trailer was just okay, but uh, the village in the woods, yo, the village in the woods, it, this couple goes to this, I don't know, haunted Airbnb, I guess is how they were selling it, kinda. But at the same time, it, it seemed like a midsummer type of just this village in the woods, you know, and with a title like that, that's creepy. That's a creepy title. But the flick was just literally nothing. Just the couple gets to the Airbnb and they just get, I don't know, a little bit of get out action, I guess you could say. But it, it was just so it was it was just bad. I was bored. 
bored a lot. I was bored because literally nothing happens until I guess late in the film. But and you just got a couple, just a bunch of old men watching the wife and mm, you know just staring at her through the windows and just looking at her. You know, just just old men. Just hey, what's your name? Okay, hey, hey, yeah. You know, just I, mean, I don't care. You know, nothing happened. Nothing happens. You know, Jax, we were not entertained. Okay, Jax, it just fart box. Okay, royal poop. Jax's poop just. Just, just stupid, just stupid, stupid, stupid. Hated it, just dumb, dumb. All right, Jax, we, this is, that's our top 10 worst films of 2020, I'm about to say 2018, 2019, okay? That, those are the worst films, Jax. So, uh, man, it's been a, it's been a crazy year for the most part. Hey, stay safe in this new year, okay? Let's set some new goals for ourselves in this new year, you know? Let's see what we can come up with. Uh, let's grow, okay? Let's become better, better individuals, Jax, okay? Let's let's uh, let's try, okay? <laughs> that's, all we, that's all we can do is try, right? I mean, come on. Happy New Year. Like this video. Like it for Jax. You know, just like it for Jax, okay? Because it helps Jax out when you like the video. So please, like the video, okay? Jax, cut this camera off, or I will pull Apache the Pirate from Spongebob. Mm, who's gonna kiss me? There's the mistletoe, okay? Mm, who's gonna kiss me? Mm.